come back in this video I will discuss how to apply shift reduce uh, or bottom up passing to validate the input string based on the given grammar this is the solved example number three the link for other solved examples is given in the description below in this case uh, we have been given a grammar with uh, two rules the first one is uh, yes uh, opening parenthesis L closing parenthesis or A second one is L L comma S or S in this case the input string given to us is uh, opening parenthesis A comma opening parenthesis A comma A closing parenthesis and closing parenthesis we want to validate whether this input string is uh, valid or not with respect to given grammar here also we need to draw the parse tree for this particular uh, input string here so in this case uh, we have been given this particular grammar and then uh, this is the input string so we will try to apply the bottom up uh, or the shift reduce passing to check whether it is valid or not so we have three things one is stack second one is input buffer and third one is action here initially stack contains nothing this is the input string entire input string here and then we have something called as uh, shift here what is shift is uh, because we don't have anything uh, on the stack uh, we cannot uh, perform any of these particular uh, operations or we cannot apply any rules so we will shift the first token onto this particular stack that is uh, opening parenthesis remaining input will be written here as it is now uh, with respect to this opening parenthesis again we cannot apply any rule here that is uh, reducing is not possible so we will take the next token and then we will shift it onto the stack that is uh, a here and remaining input is written here now if you look at the stack top this a a can be reduced to yes in this case because a can be reduced to yes we will uh, write action as reduce s a so that is what i have done and input buffer remains same in this case again if you look at this particular thing uh, we have uh, something called as uh, uh, yes here that yes can be reduced to l here if you look at this one yes can be reduced to l here so that is what we have done in this case now once you do this particular thing uh, this is again what is uh, remaining on the input buffer uh, we cannot apply any rule on opening parenthesis and L so we will shift the next token that is comma it will become uh, opening parenthesis L comma here and this is what is remaining on the stack uh, input buffer again we cannot apply any rule here so what we do is uh, we will shift the next token that is uh, opening parenthesis again again uh, we cannot apply anything uh, this is remaining on the input buffer uh, we cannot apply anything here so we will shift again the next token that is a so a is present here now a can be reduced to uh, yes and yes can be reduced to l so that is what we have done here uh, a is reduced to yes and then yes is reduced to l here so two steps we have performed here uh, now once you see this particular the stack content that is uh, opening parenthesis l comma opening parenthesis l we cannot apply any uh, rule here so what we do is uh, we will take the next token that is uh, comma over here so if you look at the, this thing again we cannot uh, perform anything so we will take the next token that is a so that is what i have written here once you write this particular a uh, we cannot we can change this particular a to s that is uh, a will be reduced to s in this case so we got the uh, l comma s because we got l comma s uh, rather than reducing s to l if i reduce s to l we will get l uh, comma l or something like that we don't have any rule here and uh, the largest uh, match in this case is uh, l comma s this is l comma s which will be reduced to l here so that is what we got in this case l is uh, l comma s is reduced to l in this case now uh, we need to uh, take the next token that is shift we need to perform we got the closing parenthesis here this uh, opening parenthesis l closing parenthesis it can be reduced to s here so that is what i have uh, done here and l comma s can be reduced to l here that is uh, this rule l comma s can be reduced to l and after that we will take the next token that is this one we get uh, opening parenthesis l and closing parenthesis that can be reduced to s here so we got s and the entire input has been consumed already the meaning of this particular thing is the input string is valid with respect to given grammar because we got the start symbol on the top of stack here now this is a very simple process we need to apply so that we can validate whether the given input string is valid or not in this case now uh, we will try to draw the parse tree for this particular uh, grammar now we will start with the very first uh, token that is uh, opening parenthesis here 
so this is the opening parenthesis because it's a terminal symbol I will draw it in uh, square bracket after that we have shifted a here so I will take a again a is a terminal symbol so I will put this particular a here after that a was reduced to l s and then it was reduced to l here so first it was reduced to s and then uh, it was reduced to l both s and l are non-terminal symbols so I will put them in a circle here uh, after this particular thing uh, we have shifted comma here so I will after this particular comma again we have shifted this particular opening uh, parenthesis uh, so I will take this particular opening parenthesis over here and then uh, after parenthesis we got a here a was reduced to s a was s was reduced to l here so we have a a was reduced to s and then s was reduced to l in this case so this is what has actually happened now uh, after that particular thing we have shifted the comma here so I will write this particular comma here after this particular comma uh, what is the next thing we need, we have done is uh, we have uh, shifted a a was reduced to s here so I will take a here and then a was uh, reduced to s over here so this is what has actually happened in this case now uh, if you look at this particular thing once you got this uh, l comma s l comma was s was reduced to l here so l is present here comma is present here and s is present here it was uh, reduced to l in this case so l comma s is reduced to yes here l here so after that we have added a closing uh, parenthesis here so this is a closing parenthesis in this case it is a terminal symbol and then opening parenthesis l closing parenthesis is reduced to s yes here so we have a opening parenthesis here we have l here and then the closing parenthesis so i will draw this particular opening parenthesis here so this one is considered so i will mark it as a cross here so this is uh, reduced to what uh, opening parenthesis l closing parenthesis is reduced to yes so this will be yes in this case now after this particular thing uh, we have uh, uh, reduced this l comma s yes. so l is present here comma is present here so i will take this particular comma here okay this particular part is over and then uh, l is required so i will bring it to the up level so that is l over here and then next one is yes and below this particular thing a so a is a terminal symbol so i will put it in a square bracket and this particular part is considered so i will remove this particular thing so l comma yes so l comma yes is nothing but what this will become uh, l in this case now after this particular thing we have uh, a closing parenthesis here so this will be the closing parenthesis and then uh, if you see the last one opening parenthesis l and closing parenthesis so there is something here that's the opening parenthesis so i will take that particular opening parenthesis here and then l closing parenthesis so opening parenthesis l and then the closing parenthesis that is nothing but a start symbol over here so this is also considered in this case and this is already considered so if you look at this particular pass tree we have started from the leaf node and then we have ended up with the root which is nothing but the start symbol in this case it shows that uh, uh, the given input string is valid with respect to given uh, grammar here. This is the solved example number 3. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. Do follow those particular videos to understand the numerical examples on shift risk passing. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.